Now the next two tabs over, um, these are the contains and where used. So these are, they're a little bit like the bill of materials when you look at the contents tab, it's giving you a, a reference tree. Um, but the way I like to describe these is together, the contains and where used gives you the ability to look up and down the reference tree. So the information provided in these tabs can be particularly useful when you're about to embark on a change to a file because it gives you the ability to determine if the change that you're about to make will affect other documents above or below it in the uh, reference tree. And then from that, you can decide if you need to make additional changes to other documents. So to quickly show you how this would work, um, same kind of scenario here. If I go to the contains tab, I see down the tree, just like I did with the bill of materials. Anything that I see in here, there is an option to right click and uh, browse to. So if I go browse to this one, you see it takes me to a different folder. Now this contains no references, but if I was about to make a change to this, I could simply switch over to the where use tab. And then by switching over to um, all versions, I can see what versions of that file are used in what versions of the assembly. So that's quite a useful tool. It gives me the ability to look up and down the tree. And like I said, that, that allows me to make uh, decisions about will my changes to this file affect other files.